Iran's Air Force on Wednesday unveiled an indigenous unmanned aerial vehicle, UAV, which has been specifically designed and for manufactured for training purposes, Press TV reported. The Shahab, meteoroid, drone was displayed at the ceremony in the capital Tehran, in the presence of senior Iranian military and civil officials. The drone can carry out observation and reconnaissance missions under various environmental conditions at a maximum altitude of 11,000 feet, about 3.35 kilometers, said the report, adding that it has a flight endurance of 8 hours. The flight radius of Shahab, the upgraded and advanced version of the Iranian Safar Envoy drone, is 10 kilometers for training activities and can be elevated to 200 kilometers on reconnaissance missions, according to the report. The Iranian outlet detailed that the UAV was capable of reaching altitudes as high as 11,000 feet and can last for up to eight hours at a time, with a radius of 100 kilometers. The drone also has the ability to extend its flight radius to 200 kilometers for a reconnaissance operation. Shahab has improved balance during takeoff, flight, and landing while sporting a highly aerodynamic design duo new landing gear and V-shaped wings, the outlet revealed. Iranian military experts and technicians have in recent years made substantial headways in manufacturing a broad range of indigenous equipment, making the armed forces self-sufficient in the arms sphere. Iranian officials have repeatedly underscored that the country will never stop working to strengthen its military capabilities for defense purposes. Not too long ago, in late August, the Iranian Defense Ministry presented new defense industry achievements, including a strike drone and an air defense system, at the Defense Industry Week exhibition in Tehran, in the presence of President Ebrahim Raisi. The ministry unveiled a cruise UAV, unmanned aerial vehicle, called Abel, which is equipped with an optical seeker and a warhead capable of catching different targets, transmitting their image in real time, and eventually destroying them, according to local media. Despite harsh unilateral sanctions imposed by the U.S. and the West, the Islamic Republic has been able to enhance its military capabilities and technology using domestic materials and with the help of its scientists. Meanwhile, the use of the Iranian drones is drawing comparisons among some pro-Russian military bloggers to the HIMARS rocket systems the U.S. supplied to Ukraine. The HIMARS did much to disrupt Russia's ability to bring artillery munitions to the front, changing the course of the war. The new weapons also have been used at the front, with some Russian military bloggers publishing images of Ukrainian armored personnel carriers and artillery pieces they said were destroyed by the Shads, a scenario supported in a report by the Wall Street Journal. Putin raises stakes on Ukraine's bid for more powerful weapons on Tuesday, the Ukrainian Armed Forces Facebook page said a further three shot drones had been shot down in Odessa's neighboring Mikhailov region, bringing the number destroyed to date to 20. Just to cover Odessa said legitimate, a pro-Russia military blogger with 718,000 subscribers, you need air defense for billions of dollars and hundreds of millions more for maintenance. There is no such money. There's excitement on pro-Russia sites, too, that the drones could be used in swarms to destroy Ukrainian anti-aircraft batteries and give Russia the air superiority it has lacked throughout the war. Those hopes are unlikely to be realized, according to Western military analysts. Yet for now the Iranian munitions present a new threat to Odessa, Trukhanov said. 
We will now find a way to combat the drones, effectively Trukhanov said on Tuesday, shortly after another air raid siren forced him to interrupt an interview and move to the city's Hull's bomb shelter, a basement movie theater. The Ukrainian Air Force later identified the threat as having come from a Russian Su-25 jet, which it said was shot down. In the afternoon three drones, as yet unidentified, were also destroyed, the Air Force said. That information could not be independently verified. Trukhanov pointed to the possibility of buying anti-drone systems from Israel, which has been dealing with Iranian loitering munitions for decades. Ukraine's defense forces and technicians were also on the case, he said. Russia took delivery of 1,000 drones from Iran at the end of August, according to the US. A Ukrainian defense official showed Bloomberg an image of drone fragments, with the Shad's Russian Jiren 2 marking, found after one of the strikes. The Shad 136 can be used in numbers, forcing Ukraine to defend against them with anti-aircraft missiles that can cost hundreds of thousands of dollars each.